Hey folks, Andy here, and welcome back to another This Month at Mantic, your monthly dose of Mantic goodness so you know what's coming down the pipes. First up, a mini apology. Sorry I missed April's roundup, but a combination of Adepticon prep, salute prep and attendance, plus my own personal couple of weeks holiday after Easter, meant April's update just couldn't get squeezed out in time. Well, I'm back in the chair now, so let's get the wheels spinning on May. Let's kick off with a bit of an update on how Adepticon and Salute went. Well, we were there in full force at both events, talking to a whole sea of excited gamers and hobbyists, and a personal highlight for me was meeting and chatting to so many of you in person, and I especially want to say a huge thanks to the folks I met at Adepticon who made me feel super welcome at my first overseas event. Now in terms of games, the star of the show was definitely Halo Flashpoint, as these events were the first time that gamers had managed to see the product up close and also get some demo time with it. Every single person I spoke to over both events were very excited for the game and were really impressed with what we've produced. One thing that was great to hear was how much people thought it felt like Halo, which definitely brought a smile on my face after months of keeping quiet about it. The events were so busy that my plans to film more content went straight out of the window as I spent my time answering questions, meeting excited gamers and demoing the game itself. It's safe to say we have a great game on our hands here and it's not too late for you to get involved if you haven't already. There are a whole host of amazing friendly local gaming stores around the world that have already placed their orders for Halo Flashpoint, so make sure to speak to your local store to order your copy. We have much more to show you leading up to the release later this year, along with our plans for organised player to ensure you get lots of people to play the game with. So stay tuned and we'll be bringing you along with us on the journey to the Halo Flashpoint launch. May sees the retail release of Dungeon Saga Origins, along with the first retail expansion, Glimmer of Greed. We think we have a fantastic game here that's not only super accessible for newer or younger players to tabletop games and dungeon crawlers, but also a quality product that more experienced gamers and hobbyists will enjoy without it being a bit of a brain burner to understand the rules. This game is perfect as a group, with one of you playing the part of the Dungeon Overlord. However, sometimes you might want to play cooperatively as a team, or maybe you just want to play solo. Well, in Dungeon Saga Origins, you can do all of these things. What's even better is we've developed a digital overlord that allows you to listen to the backstory, set up the dungeon and reveal the rooms and enemies a room at a time as you explore it, all without spoiling the surprises in the quest book. The digital overlord is completely free to use and is a great way to team up with your kids or play against the dungeon alone, all the while having everything unfolding as you progress through your adventure. Head over to DungeonSagaOrigins.com to check it out for yourself. Now if you're still on the fence about Dungeon Saga Origins, how does a free copy sound? Well, why not enter our competitions to win yourself one? It's really simple to take part and there are three copies to win with three ways to enter. First up, we'll be giving away a copy to one lucky Mantic newsletter subscriber. So if you haven't already signed up to get our news straight into your inbox, then sign up at manticgames.com as shown here and there'll be a link in the video description and then be in with a chance to win. Next up, we'll be giving away a copy to one of our subscribers over here on YouTube. So if you haven't already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button, leave a comment on this video and we'll be choosing one lucky person at random. Lastly, you can be in with another chance to win the third copy by following us over on our Facebook page. Again, there'll be a link in the video description. We'll be doing a random draw of one person from each of the three different places on Friday, May the 31st. And then we'll announce the winners in each of the three places, the newsletter, the Facebook group, and here in next month, this month at Mantic. So good luck everyone, fingers crossed for you. Over in the world of Panathor, the trident realm of Neritica have been on the high seas, making waves and ending up in people's hands across the world. With their rules now available on the Mantic Companion, everyone can see just how our frog-loving friends will be shaping up in battle. With spring in the air, now is a great time to start a new Kings of War army and get it ready for the table in time for the summer. So no matter if you're just getting started and want some smaller scale ambush games, or you want to grow your army to a larger force, then the Trident Realms range is a fantastic place to start. The Walking Dead All Out War hit our web store back in January, and it's fair to say it was a huge success. 
You really showed us the support we knew was out there for this game, and we're even starting to see events taking place once again too. Well, this month we'll start to put out some of those single, individual minis up for sale. For you veterans out there who just need to round out your collection with one or two characters, or maybe those of you who just want a few of your favourite characters to make a cool diorama with some of our modern day terrain crate range, you'll be able to pick those up starting this month. Initially, we're releasing the individual PVC minis from the Atlanta collection, the Miles Behind Us collection, the Safety Behind Bars collection, the Made to Suffer collection, and the Fear the Hunters collection. Don't forget that you can still pre-order the Commonwealth collection too, the newest faction for The Walking Dead All Out War. We're looking forward to seeing a whole new influx of folks enjoying this amazing game very soon. Back in February, boy does that feel like a long time ago, we had our epic Warpath Kickstarter, which not only funded, but unlocked a total of 8 factions into our small scale sci-fi universe. Well, in the early part of this month, the Pledge Manager will open, where you'll be able to decide just where to spend your pledges, and also add a few extra bits that you've decided you also need now. We'll make sure everyone gets to know about this when it goes live, and give you some advice on how to complete your pledge, to make sure you get exactly what you want. We'll also be opening up the Pledge Manager for those that missed out on the Kickstarter, and want to add a late pledge, so if you still want to get on the Epic Warpath train, it's not too late. This month's vault is another exciting collection, and fans of Dead Zone will not want to miss out. This month we have the Tertia Revolutionaries, a fully game ready 200 point strike team for Dead Zone, which includes 9 models with stats to play them, available in the Mantic Companion. If you're a fan of Enforcers in our Warpath universe, then we've added Enforcer Phase Close upgrades, Enforcer Missile Launcher upgrades, along with additional upgrades for an Enforcer Medic, an Engineer, and a Sniper. Staying with the sci-fi theme, we've also included upgrades for the Strider to either equip them with a burst rifle or to make them into Ajax versions. We've also included some cool sci-fi scatter terrain, perfect for your games of Dead Zone or Firefight. For our Kings of War players, we've added a host of command front rank upgrades for Halflings, Ratkin, Goblins and Basileans. If your tastes are more seafaring, then this month also sees some additions for Armada. We've added the Northern Alliance XL ship, and we've also added the Northern Alliance flyers. On top of that, we've also included the Armada spell deck as a PDF file. And along with all of this fantastic stuff, we've even added Peacekeeper Blaine to the welcome pack. How nice are we? That's all for this month. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like, and next month we'll be gearing up for some summer fun. See you then.